Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for a new video. I think I just got a delivery. And if it is what I think it is, we're gonna have some fun. Helps to unlock the door. Oh, it is what I think it is. We've got a new seat. Brand new company, brand new model, brand new feature set. Nice price point with a lot of key details that are gonna be different than what we've seen from other brands on the market. This video is gonna be a fairly quick unboxing. Shouldn't be anything unusual there. What do you think, Coop? That gonna be cool? Yeah? We're gonna set it up, do a quick feature overview. And I'll give you my initial impressions. And then in a week or so, I'm gonna give you a full review with lots of comparisons, likes, dislikes, all that kind of stuff. This is from Weilianda. I think that's how you say it. And I need to thank them for sending this for review. However, they're not paying me for it and they don't have any control over what I say in the video. Let's bring it inside. Okay, now this one is going here in my wife's multi-purpose office. She's got her normal desk and then her TV. Now this is replacing a cheaper chair that we just got, I think from Amazon, I don't remember, but it was uh, not anything super high quality. So she's excited to try this one out here. Unboxing should be fairly simple. I don't think it's gonna be anything different than all the others you've seen me do. I'm gonna slice open the bottom here, get the flaps out of the way, tip it down, should be able to just pull the box off. And there we go, super easy. You gonna help Clover? Yeah. All right, now we just slide the box up and out and we should see the seat. And there we have it. Now let's just slide off the protective foam. And one of the coolest things about this is it's super easy to purchase. Buy it on Amazon, shipped via FedEx. It was here in just a couple days. Couldn't be easier. No third party carriers, no sales crew, no hard sales on extra warranties, just easy purchase and enjoy. Link is down below. Mm -mm, let me tell you what, there is no smell like fresh leather. I know some of this is vinyl but you can smell the fresh leather, that is for sure. Got our protective covers here on the attachment points. Well, I like that they put removable. I've seen people leave these on, just not even aware of what they were. Removable cup holder liners, liners. that's nice. All right, let's get this thing set up. So here's what you get, completely unboxed. We still have some protective stuff to remove. This back is separate. So it's just packed in the box. We're just gonna lift that out of the way for now. Get the base in rough position. We've got protection here on the joints and like every other seat, they just slide together and latch in. I'll show you that real quick. And we've got one power cord just to snap together right down there. All right, we've got a standard mechanism, standard pretty much everything here. And like most other seats, we do have an LED strip on the front of this bar here stickered on. And what I tell people is if you want to disable it, just unplug it. Follow this cable here to the connector inside the little felt here. Now we just need to slide the back onto the base. You can see the peg here is gonna go into the slots. Super easy to do with one person. I just like to plop it down here and just basically fold it in place. Make sure both are right on, push down and they snap right in, super easy. And this only goes in one way, so you can't screw it up. And once you have that snapped on, they do have a nice little piece of Velcro right underneath that tucks this and keeps it nice and flush looking. I don't know about you, but that looks super sharp to me. This is in a completely new style. Now we've got the other more common style in our living room now that you've seen for years on the net and they look fine, totally fine, but this, is something completely different, completely new. I see some really welcome features right away. Number one, sloped armrests. That is awesome. When you recline, that slight slope at the rear makes things so much more comfortable. I love the huge, super wide, full width headrest instead of just, you know, 75% with bolsters up the side. There's no point in that, in my opinion. We've got ample lumbar, we still have the nice looking modern stitching and quilting pattern. Two accessory ports, two removable inserts for both the cup holders, two armrests. 
They are spring loaded and inside we have free accessories that are included with a receipt. Let's check them out. Now bear in mind, what I'm gonna show you is almost always an optional extra with pretty much every other brand and seat out there to the tune of a couple hundred bucks, but not with this. You get your tray table removable out of the accessory port, pops right in, and a tablet holder. Very cool, very relevant in today's age, especially since we also have USB-C also included in the electronics package. Very cool. And I confirmed that they are 10 watts, so you do have better charging than the typical five that you find on pretty much everything else. Now, speaking of the controls, they are pretty standard. We've got a button here for not only the blue LED lights on the cup holders, but also down below. And like I said, you can just easily unplug these. That's what I do in all of my other ones because I never want these on. They look cool in pictures. They look cool in a video of a room or something, but for actual use, as soon as you recline this thing and that light shines forward on your screen or your walls, or your floor, bad idea just for marketing, but very, very easily defeatable. So that button there controls both of those at the same time. And then we have just a faint, faint blue light here in the USB port, but when you're sitting in the chair, you can barely notice it. I mean, it's not bright at all, so it's not gonna distract you. Got your standard buttons here. This one handles your reclining. The feet will come up first. Once that's up, the back starts to go back. And this is a way back model. They advertise this as a zero gravity seat, and they are not joking. This goes back with the feet way up. That is far more of a V shape than any other seats out there. Normally the most you'll get is a flat level footrest, but this one can go all the way back for basically sleeping. Very comfy. And then your other button here, does the headrest, which is one huge unit, and it's very generous. No home button, but that's pretty typical of the standard two-way designs. This does not have power lumbar, but I doubt many people are going to need it. And to wrap up this feature overview, there are just two things that are notably different than many of the other seats out there that I want to mention. It's going to be a plus to some, con to the others. When you typically put a seat back into the upright position, it will fully restore whatever is available. The recline, the headrest, lumbar, if it has it, it'll all reset, or it may have a home button. These are always completely separate. So when you do go to the upright position, wrong button, it does not affect the headrest. So everything went back to normal with the feet and the back, but the headrest you have to do separately and vice versa. So just note that. Now that's gonna be a plus to those that like it in a certain position and hate that it changes every time. Con if you don't, so not a big deal or it might be a big deal. It's also not a wall hugger. That's the drawback or benefit to it being a zero gravity seat and able to get that kind of extreme recline it needs to be balanced differently if it was a wall hugger unit it would be keeping it within a couple inches of its upright clearance but then your center of gravity would be way off and you couldn't get that type of recline so if you're looking for something that is much more conducive to a total reclined experience note that you're not going to be looking for a wall hugger but this one certainly fits the bill in here for sure. Like I said, in about a week, I will have a full review. I'm gonna go over everything in detail, do a lot of comparisons, get some time on it, and we'll go from there. That's it, see you next time.